Serious, what is the scariest slash most unexplainable thing you've come across in the woods? Attention. Serious, tag notice. Jokes, puns, and off-topic comments are not permitted in any comment, parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Me and a friend of mine heard some weird almost Celtic chanting when taking a walk through the woods as if someone was sacrificing a cow. I wanted to investigate but he almost shit his pants so we just rushed home before it was too dark. Or someone's LARP group. One of our neighborhood ruins had massive symbols graffitied on, but it looked a lot less spooky when you saw the Golden Retriever Energy Guy with the massive foam axe next to it. Golden Retriever Energy Guy is not a phrase I was expecting but an accurate one nonetheless. Sorry. One of our neighborhood ruins? I was 11 exploring the woods with my bro when we came across a small clearing with a red and white checkered picnic blanket that had a skinned, bloody, chopped up animal carcass on top baking in the sun. Ritual demonic sacrifice, carry on. Thor was just letting his dinner cook, should be ready in a week or two link. Delicious, high voltage sign. I don't have a phone. Send a raven. XD. A few years ago when I was on holiday in Germany I found a small black Nike bag, it was hanging on a tree in the middle of nowhere. I looked inside and there were bags of pink powder. Looked kinda like pink Play-Doh. No idea what it was. Creeped me out. It's not unheard of for hunters to put sweets around a tree to hunt bears. I'm not sure if there are bears in Germany but that could have been one. I'm not sure if there are bears in Germany. Pretty much none. Oh come on. I'm sure you all could scrounge up a couple if you needed to. When I was a kid we found a backpack with condoms in it and a bottle of liquor and right next to it was a pile of large bones. Not sure if they were human or what they were. Sounds like a teenage adventure. The Hardy Boys, The Seductive Wendigo Adventure. Riverdale style. Get in freaky with the Wendigo. Scariest being a distillery of some kind. I don't know if it was drugs or moonshine but everyone knows it's really dangerous to happen upon someone's shine. If they're stilling in the woods then whatever they're doing is illegal, people have been known to get killed for coming across and still. I used to play in the woods with my friends all the time when we were in 7th and 8th grade. One day we discovered a new trail that went really deep into the woods. We loved exploring new trails so we had no qualms about going down this one. We had no idea what it was we'd found so we spent a good long time looking at everything, touching everything, and then we found guns. Just two, one was a handgun, the other was some kind of a large semi-automatic, and it scared us. We then heard voices in the trees and took off into the woods where there was no trail, we just wanted to get out of there. I never told my parents but one of my friends told their parents and a couple days later the woods were raided and three men were arrested. That's how we learned it was a still. Wish I could remember what kind it was. Removed. My dad used to live on a farm in the middle of nowhere. He had a huge piece of land, that used to have an old farmhouse that got burnt down a long time ago. They had an a medium-sized section of woods on the land, and nearby the entrance to the woods, if I took a turn, there WSS a small graveyard with the family of the farmers who used to live on the land. Maybe 200 or so years old. There was another small section of woods that separated another, older section of the graveyard. Don't know why. One day, I was exploring as I used to love to do, my favorite was finding my way to the graveyard and then to explore further from there. Middle of the day I went. With the dog. I looked toward the section of woods that separated the two graveyard areas and I saw this huge. Figure? Like a human but really, really tall. Too tall to be human. 
It was also bright and this thing was pitch black like it didn't even have any shadow or depth to it, it was just black. The dog barked at it, it looked like it shifted in my direction and I ran like hell. Didn't look back. Just ran. Slender Man. <laughs> When I was younger, I lived on the road for a couple of years, traveling with my girlfriend. One night we were camping in Covalo, in Northern California. As soon as the sun went down, my girlfriend freaked out and started saying we shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here. I couldn't calm her down, so we packed up and left. We had been together for several years and I had never seen her act like that. A couple of weeks later we were talking with someone in Mendocino and he told us about that place's history. Apparently it had been the site of a massacre of more than 1,000 Native Americans. Did your girlfriend explain what she was feeling or if she saw anything? It was two decades ago, so my memory is a little fuzzy. I remember her saying that it felt like we were being watched, and it felt like someone or something didn't want us there. On the side of some wooded train tracks, the bones of about 10 deer, meticulously taken apart including the vertebrae, but no skulls, alongside a huge pile of oyster shells. I've found animal corpses by the train tracks before, they're usually whole, something took these apart. Pretty much all the nearby land is owned by the University Forestry Department or the rail company, so I don't think it was hunters. Oyster shells are interesting, something was betting maybe eating there. Or it was dumped due to the close vicinity to train tracks. This is gonna sound stupid, but bear shit. I live in a pretty well populated area, but not super packed. I was exploring this stretch of woods that no one really know how to get into, so it was like my little spot. I was just walking, looking for deer or fox tracks when I come across black bear tracks and then a pile of scat. I knew we had black bears in my state but never came across tracks let alone fresh ones in this part of the state. I got pictures, and noped the hell out. I know if I happened to cross paths with one I would be fine since black bears are usually not aggressive unless a mother, but it still shook me a little. I literally crossed paths with a black bear once when I was out hiking through a meadow and it ran right in front of me to the woods on the other side. My dumb ass just stared the whole time and it took me a good 10 seconds after it had run out of sight to get from huh that's a weird big dog to oh dear where's its owner? To there's no one coming in that didn't really run like a dog anyway so what was, oh, oh shit was that a bear? Suffice it to say I'm glad black bears aren't particularly aggressive because that fucker was fast and my survival instincts suck. I encountered a young black bear while I was walking along a train track. It was not super close to me, but I was more worried about meeting its mother. The janitor from my elementary school spying on a friend and I from the forest trees as we were playing on a beach, about age 12. Creepy as. A pile of dead cattle pieces, mostly heads. Now I understand that might be the sort of thing a farmer slash rancher discards but If you own them in the first place, don't you have enough land for your own corpse pile? And why and how did you fucking get them here, in the middle of the woods? There's no roads, did you have a trailer on a quad just to put these things there? So, farmers take corpses into the woods so the wolf and similar animals search there instead of on the farmland. That actually makes sense. Never thought about that angle. Georgia O'Keeffe from your hood? When I was five, I was living in Tennessee near some woods. My brother and I loved to explore and see what we could find. One day, we found an electric chair in a small clearing that looked like one of the ones from old cartoons. This thing had wires hooked up to metal cuffs on the arm bars, a headset sitting in the seat, and a bucket at the base of the chair. Obviously it wasn't connected to anything and there weren't any buildings or signs of any kind of past development. We ran home and our parents called the cops. Our parents never told us what happened after that. Someone was having some fun with MKUltra in the woods. I grew up in the woods down a long dirt road, I was about 14 and walking with my girlfriend at the time, about 20 years ago, and we both saw an animal moving strangely down another branched off road a couple hundred feet away. Not too far to mistake what we saw but not close enough to get a super good look at it. 
At first I thought it was a baby deer, but then we realized it wasn't waking like a deer, it definitely had paws. It looked like a maned wolf with the comically long legs, but was the same light brown as a deer. Maned wolves are not in this area at all and it moved almost feline-like. Thinking back now it could have possibly been a bobcat but the weirdest part was the feeling I got, a feeling of pure dread when I saw it. What? That is absolutely terrifying. Feelings of instinctual dread about a spindly, mystery animal. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me. If it makes you feel better, that was almost definitely a bobcat. They can be pretty lanky and goofy looking, and it makes sense that the way a big cat moves would evoke an instinctual feeling of dread in the human brain especially if you weren't sure what you were looking at. They're very common in lots of areas but also very shy and rarely seen.